Hello students, welcome to Careers 360. Today we have with us Dr. Alok Tirpati, who is the Director of Scheme, Scaling and the Chief Controller of Examinations for Nilet University. He is here to tell us how the university prepares students for the future work. Hello sir, welcome. Hello. So my first question would be sir, the tech world is moving really fast these days and so how does Nilet uh, ensure that its programs stay relevant? In the industry. Yeah. In this regard, I would like to tell you that Nylit has tie-ups with industries. Okay. We have tie-up with uh, Microsoft, we have tie-up with IBM, we have tie-up with Intel. Uh, I would like to tell that we, with Intel, we have launched a AI as, uh, associate program also that is uh, designed by Intel and Nylit jointly. And we have gone for NSKF certification for that and that program is a NSKF aligned course. Similarly, we have uh, programs of the Kindrel. We have tie up with Microsoft in which we have uh, launched programs in cyber security. We have tie ups with IBM and we have tie up with many other startups also. For example, Kai Kodo is, is a startup with, with whom we have tie up in AI. So in all the emerging and cutting edge technologies, we have a industrial tie up. So we design courses in association with industries and then since NSQF is the standard uh, now, the, by the uh, national vocational education training uh, standard. So we follow NSQF guidelines and we design courses at a particular NSQF level. And during the submission of the NSQF level course, when it goes for the approval, industry validations are required. So all our courses are validated with the relevant uh, at least 10 industry validations. Uh, all our courses are approved after the industry validations. So this is how we are maintaining the alignment with the industry and the cutting edge technology. Okay. And so how have these certification standards like uh, shaped the institute's priority when it comes to quality? Yeah, we, we are ISO 9000 uh, qualified. We have security certification for ISMS 20001 also and we are CMM level 3 certified organization. So we have got this uh, certifications. So naturally, the whatever uh, processes we are following, they are well, I can see they're well tested. That's why these certifications are given. So our process are aligning with the quality standards. Whatever the quality standards that those are prescribed, we are following those uh, quality standards. There are regular internal audits as well as in external audits in which all our processes are checked. And if some lacuna is there, we refine our process to maintain the highest quality standards of our training, certification and assessment. Okay. And so what reforms have been rolled out when it comes to eligibility fees and admissions, especially for students who are belonging to SCST uh, category? Yeah, as I have told that uh, whatever the qualification presently we are running as per the Government of India guidelines and Government of India has prescribed the NSQ of courses to, in the vocational education. So all our courses are NSQF aligned. They are uh, approved by the NCVT after the industry validations. And there is a structured eligibility criteria defined at each NSQF level. And that's why whenever our courses are approved, they are with the structured eligibility criteria that is as per the national credit framework. And for the SCST, as per the Government of India guidelines, we take no charges for our NSQF courses as well as our courses like O level, A level, B level. There is no fee prescribed for STST. The course is offered free to them. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, although the classroom learning remains the norm, so is Nylet looking for online mode as well or hybrid mode when it comes to lectures? Yeah, that is a very relevant question because shortly we are launching our Nylet digital university platform, ndu.digital. Okay. So, so on this, presently, we have 80 courses. Okay. But total courses, were what we, we have got approval from the NSKF, there are around 150 courses. Okay. So, we are presently have put up 80 courses. We are launching with 80 courses. But shortly, we have all the 150 courses on our this digital platform, where virtual lab, assessment, and feedback mechanism, as well as uh, guidance to the students during the course progression all is there so we are shifting 
to the digital mode also and you will see in uh, years to come on most of our courses will be available online through okay. our endu.digital okay so when it comes to modern education lms is the key so how is it being used when it comes to tracking learning and assessments or student yeah. enrollments i have talked about the endu.digital which we are going to launch in the forthcoming week so uh, that is a lms is built with that endu.digital that is on the moodle and in that for after every learning there is a quiz mechanism so that the student can judge based on the quiz there are some ai modules which will guide the students ki what is his progression what he has to learn again and how he can progress suppose a student complete a particular course also then he will be guided by the ai uh, tutor ki which other courses he can prefer what are his shortcomings where there were gaps and the student is guided properly our assessment is online after every completion of the course the since we are nsqf aligned so our certificates are uh, awarded only after the proper assessment and the examination which is an online mode and that's why our uh, this uh, certifications and assessment are uh, according to the highest standards of the industry sir project based learning has a huge learning curve so how is it embedded in courses like o level and how do the faculty how does the faculty mentor students through the process ha uh, yeah Uh, that is a very good question because projects are the practical learning which student gains or the application of the knowledge so i will like to tell in our o level the certificate is awarded only of the project completion okay. project is mandatory if the project is not completed the certificate will not be awarded and the our faculty whatever the our centers are there they guide the students to during for the project concept they guide for the development of the project and we have a good assessment criteria also that projects are evaluated after the assessment only the projects are assess, uh, accepted and our degree uh, certificates are also awarded after only after the project completion okay yeah. and so how does nilet ensure transparency when it comes to admission in document verification eligibility and screening uh, actually all our uh, online pro- all our online processes registration examination form submission all are online process and that is uh, uh, through uh, as per the software validation there are validation those validations are uh, checks are present in the software and the software verifies that whether a particular validation is violated if the particular validation is uh, violated the con- uh, candidate is not allowed to register or fill a particular exam form or like that okay and so when a course is cancelled or if there is a reschedule so how what about that how are other refunds given or is the student informed about uh, it as i told that all our processes are online so whenever a course is uh, cancelled suppose it happens our center to so the center contacts the students through sms we uh, collect the email id of students also so they are uh, the informed through the email id sms also and if suppose a particular candidate is not responding then we contact through the, the mobile phone also if the mobile phone uh, is that is submitted is the correct mobile number okay and how is the student progress monitored as i have told in the endu.digital we have a quiz mechanism so that after every learning or every chapter there is a quiz which the students attempts and based on that there is a ai software is there which guides the student ki what what is the outcome of his learning how much he has learned where are there gaps or whether he has to go for again learning that chapter so in this way ai mechanism is there that guides the student through that Uh, quiz mechanism and uh, there are some sub, suppose some long duration courses there so there are regular assessments by the faculty also on the basis of which students are given feedback to improve their learning so that in the end uh, whenever they go for the final exam they are well prepared and uh, certificate is awarded with uh, high quality standards of the examination and how is data being used for all this the data is online so okay. it is online available hmm. so whatever the data we have that is online and 
we follow the DPDA Act. According to that, whatever the data has to be shared with that, we uh, that is according to DPDA Act. And how is uh, NILET encouraging students when it comes to research? Yeah, but as I told, there is a strong project mechanism. The student gets the certificate only after the completion of the project. And so this R&D is basically for the high-end courses like M-Tech and formal courses. So there we give them the industrial project, they are a capstone project. Also in the NSQF courses in which we are have alignment with the industry, they give capstone project and based on that, uh, the candidate performs that capstone project and that is a, some problem orientation there. So naturally R&D is embedded in that the student does the research, solves that problem and presents and only after that the student is awarded the certificate. Okay. So there is a progression from O level to A level. So how does this prepare the students for long term careers? No, actually our O level, A level, B level and C level courses are the most popular uh, courses and uh, there is a standard certification mechanism for that. They are well recognized by the industry and most of our alumni are placed in well places. One can visit our site and can see ki where our students are placed. They are well placed, industry recognizes it. And uh, one thing I would like to tell, we have a high quality assessment uh, mechanism and that's why whoever qualifies or whoever gets this certificate, uh, he is a, a knowledgeable person and he is able to get the job in the industry because of his knowledge and his skills. Okay. And what are the changes if there are, if there are any in the future when it comes to pedagogy or accreditation? Uh, pedagogy is now digital. As I told you, we are certainly launching a full digital platform. After all, we, our major, majority of the courses will be available online. So pedagogy is digital. We go for the recorded lectures, we go for the online instructor mode training, there are virtual labs and then we have, for example, Nilit uh, Kalikat has a uh, virtual prototyping hardware lab also. So in this way, we will also trying to use the augmented reality for creating the labs uh, for uh, those uh, subjects where this uh, machine operation and others are required. So we, uh, we are going for the online pedagogy itself and uh, uh, with the launch of digital, our pedagogy will be around 90% uh, it will be in the digital mode. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any industry partnerships, future industry partnerships that students should ha, be As I have told uh, that we have partnership, presently also we have good partnership with industry for example. Uh, Intel, then Microsoft, then IBM, Kindrel, and there are a lot of other startups. We have also tie up presently with that uh, board, board of apprenticeship training uh, for a degree embedded, uh, uh, apprentice embedded degree program. So in which the students will go to a particular industry with which the board of apprenticeship board is training and that will be a mandatory. They have to go for the apprenticeship training after the finish of the, for the second year and in the final year also and they can on on. So if it, it is a final year uh, project then they can on also means the industry will pay them some okay. amount also for uh, doing that apprenticeship training. So we have good tie up of industries and whatever the industries or startups are cutting uh, coming in the cutting edge technologies we try to tie up with them through design, through joint certification programs, to, through mutually deciding on the course curriculum, designing courses according to the industry needs. And we have a good feedback mechanism also. And as I told also, that whatever we are, the qualification files we are submitting to the NCVT, they are industry validated. I would like to tell that uh, in many of the qualifications, we give the 30 industry validations also. Okay. So you talked about nu.edu, so can you throw some more light? Uh, nu.digital is a digital platform through which we are going to launch our most of the courses. It has AI features also and uh, it has an LMS feature also and it, uh, the virtual labs integration is there. Most of the 
labs where in the virtual labs, for example, in the cyber security, cyber forensics, where the virtual labs are mostly required, it is there. We have virtual labs for coding also. We have courses on Industry 4.0 also. And for the Industry 4.0 also, we have simulated lab that is integrated with that platform. So from this platform, we will be launching most of our uh, this NSKF courses in which the student can learn online. It will be an AI monitored platform on which all the learning of the student will be monitored a, uh, through AI and they will be guided accordingly by the a, a, AI about their weaknesses, their strength and what, uh, what course progression they can take uh, after the learning. So, and our assessment is online so they can be assessed online also. So these are the features of that platform and it will be available online after the launch in the uh, following week. Okay. So everybody will have uh, this access and from this we are uh, trying to uh, make our uh, organization uh, learning in full digital mode. Our aim is that 100% digital mode we will be offering programs uh, after the launch of this program. Anything else you would like to add? Nilet is a well recognized body. What is the most or we can see our selling point is that we follow the highest quality standards. Uh, our assessment is our uh, high quality standards and it is well known in the industry that whoever qualifies the NILIT course or who has passed the NILIT course, he has his skills and that is well pro proven by the our alumni who are performing well in the industry. So our skills are recognized by industry and since our this uh, assessment process is very strong, that's why whoever qualifies the NILIT certificate, he is a, a, a skilled person who can perform as per the industry standards. Okay.